Yes, it's today's the last uh, week, and we're going to do a recap of, of uh, uh, what we covered. And then uh, the uh, last part of our connectives is descriptives, which is uh, adjectives. And then uh, sort of do a whole, uh, 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 what is this, uh, review of, of what we've covered. That would end up our, our uh, basic two. And then uh, before we before we call it uh, a week of uh, break. Hi, Annie. There she is. Before we break off uh, for the for the uh, before we go to basic three, I'm gonna give you an overview of what basic three is. Hello, Annie. Hello. So um, thank you for showing up, my dynamic duo. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, it, are there any questions from the last uh, worksheet that I handed out where you actually uh, play around with questions and answers, right? Affirmative and negative and then, uh, putting place in front because there's a shift on the pronoun and the, and the action, right? So if there aren't any questions to that, I think we're ready to move forward, which again, I'm going to go over. Uh, this is uh, the, the slides will show us some of the review here. Let's see. So here we go. Okay, so uh, the ba, na ba, and again, I would like to, you know, review again the na and the pa, right? The o o kumain na sila, and then hindi pa sila. And it's in Hindi, you see that the, the, the shift of the pronoun and the action, right? If it's positive, it follows the... the Action pronoun and it's negative negative pronoun, but in the uh, in the maybe and possibly, it's just like the affirmative. Okay, it's action pronoun. Okay, um, and then of course you only use the pa when where? When do you use the pa? Only when the question has no. Yes, only when the question has a no. Good, very good. All right, the pa in positive response to the question that has a na to it, pa becomes equivalent to in addition to, all right? So look at the examples there. So everything has a na, right? And then of course the pa in, in affirmative, what does it mean? It, in, it means in addition to. Yeah, so you use a different action, right? Use a different action. So you say, did you eat already earlier? Yes, we even had merienda, okay? Uh, did you go to Disneyland already, right? And it has to have a na. So you answer, yes, we even went to Knott's Berry Farm, all right? And then it says, uh, did Jose and uh, uh, did the group of Jose um, work at the garden, like trabajo is uh, at the garden, worked at the garden earlier. Yes, they even clean inside the house. Okay. Um, you can see I'm beginning to introduce here. Event, uh, later, uh, later today, you're going to start um, putting in uh, the objects and names. Um, uh, I mean, uh, names uh, or uh, persons in place of pronouns, okay? Uh, you could use the name, like here, Sina Jose, means Jose's group. This is a plural of Jose. We'll go through that later today, okay? Next one is when the pa is a negative. So the term pa in negative response to the question that has a na to it, pa becomes equivalent to yet as in not yet, okay? So 
kumain na ba right kumain na ba sila and you answer hindi pa sila kumain they have not eaten yet na is maintained for a positive answer to mean already okay uh, nagpunta na ba kayo sa Seattle o o nagpunta na kami sa Seattle um uh, the pa is only used in the negative. You do not use uh, uh, pa to mean also, right? You you just uh, continue with the na. O o nagpunta na kami. You don't say o o nagpunta pa kami because it's the, it's the same action. Okay. You only use the pa when there is a what kind of action? Same or different? Same, same action. When the pa, the pa. You only use pa when it's positive, uh, when it's a different action. When it's a negative, that's what you use uh, uh, to answer it in the negative, in the pa. Like, did you eat already? Not yet. And that's the yet is, not yet is a pa. Okay, and that should be in your uh, lesson guide for today. And, okay. All right. So far, we've used the sa as a statement to specify location of action. Okay, and everything and as long, uh, every time you say, you say a, a place, it's always a sa, right? the position and a place. Nagpasyal sila sa gilid ng ilog. Sa gilid is on the side of the river. Okay? Nag-shopping kami sa mall. Right? Kanina. Uh, so we look at this. This is where I start using some subject. Natutulog ang mga aso. The, are you familiar with the word aso? Do you know what that means? Aso. Do you have an aso? Do you have aso? Dog, no. <laughs> are you familiar with the word aso, Ani? Does it mean dog? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> ang, ang mga aso. So, uh, you will learn that if it's uh, an object or, uh, you know, person, if it's an object, also, of course, a dog is an art, uh, 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 thing. So it's uh, preceded by ang, and the manga is for plural. So ang manga aso, right? So what is this saying? Natutulog ang mga aso sa loob ng garahe. Garahe, garage? Yes, yes. Okay, so are the dogs sleeping? Yes. In the garage? I don't know the yes. tense, though. Yes, oh. yes. Natutulog, yes, is a present tense. So, yes, the, the dogs are sleeping inside the garage. Yes. Lumundag is a, a to jump. It's an um verb. Yung pusa. And yung is a, a, that. that it, it's a, an article that means that. So, that cat jumped sa itaas ng lamesa. Taas is on top. Top of yes. table? Counter? Oh. Yes, counter, table, yes. Counter. yes. La mesa is Spanish, right? So you're beginning to see how some of these words are in Spanish. Garaje, la mesa. Okay? Okay, good. So again, that's the connective of place. Connective of place always with the sa. Okay. Uh, connective of place or as a question ba with location of action. Again, to be answered with yes or no. All you have to do is put the ba after the action. Okay. Ba will always be after the action and everything else is the same. And of course, the ba is a word that puts it in a question that can be answered with a yes or no. 
or maybe. Yes. Okay. Uh, hang on. I think somebody is here. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Um, can you give me a, a couple of minutes here? Uh, mm -hmm. I got to answer this. We can practice the questions. <laughs> okay. Do you want to try answering them, maybe? Sure. So, Nag Pasyal Pasila sa Gilid ng Ilog. The accents are so useful. Yeah. I guess I'll be saying things with the wrong accent if I. Yeah. Because in my other class, there was kind of like, yeah, they're different sometimes. I was like, <laughs> you just okay. have to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to keep listening to things. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, um, okay, that's by the river. Yeah. But so if it was positive, is Pascal like swimming? Oh no. Pasial. You. We're trying uh, to figure out, out what uh, nag pasial means. Pasial is to uh, cruise around. Hi, Pamela. Oh, to cruise. Okay. Cruise. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for coming. So pasial is to uh, to cruise around to mm -hmm. to okay. go to places. Yo, uh, So along the river. Yes. Pasyal basila. Sagilid is on the side of the river. Okay. So, okay. So, Pamela, uh, welcome. This is Annie and Sophie. And Pamela is uh, coming in and joining us. So, any questions, Pamela? I know that you're just catching up here. Please feel free to, to just uh, ask me questions. Okay. So, okay. So, so that is for the connective, again, to uh, make it into a question that can be answered with a yes, no, or maybe, just plug in the ba in, uh, in, the, in that sentence after the actions, okay? Now, we also said that because Tagalog is very tonal, right? You can also say uh, the question without putting the ba, but you have to end the uh, the uh, you know saying the word in a in a going up kind of tone, All right? So, like for example, nagpasyal sila sa gilid ng ilog. If you can notice that the tone goes down, nagpasyal sila sa gilid ng ilog, and that's saying it as a fact. Nag shopping kami sa mall kanina, going down. We went shopping at the mall earlier, but. If you have the tone going up at the end, for example, nagpasyal sila sa gilid ng ilog, ilog, going up, nagshopping kami sa mall kanina, that is a question. It becomes a question, okay? Uh, and you begin to see that, you know, Tagalog is very tonal, okay? Uh, so, it, and if it goes up, that means you are to answer it with a yes, no, or maybe. Okay. All right. I think we got that from from the Chinese. I think. Da 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 da. See that? And that's very very common. And uh, to actually make it into a question, clearly a question, then you put the ba. Okay. Okay. Next one. So we said that there is a rule that if we have the location connective and in the ba, if we put the the connect the place connective at the end uh, after the action, then the sequence of the action and the pronoun is action first and then pronoun. Nagpasyal basila sa gilid ng ilog. All right. You can see that 
it's it's the action and then the pronoun but if you put the connective of place in front sa gilid ng ilog ba sila nagpasyal okay then the action and the pronoun is interchange you do not say sa gilid ng ilog nagpasyal ba sila no Nag, uh, nasa gilid ng ilog ba sila nagpasya okay you see the the ba there is is uh, is changed okay uh very subtle but very important uh shifting here of the connective of place okay and the translation stays the same the it translation stays. stays the same okay yeah translation stays the same Okay, so uh, as long as you know, you begin to get familiarized with the with the pattern, that would be the the, the thing to actually the things that uh, you begin to uh, study is getting used to the pattern. Once you get used to the pattern, then you could put all the different words in there. Okay, so now we go. This is, you know, for our last week, the last part of our connectives outside of time and place are the descriptors or the adjectives, right? So in your uh, worksheet guide, I gave you there some of these, uh, these uh, words. So just to practice how they're said, uh, you, you guys want to take turns uh, first. Let's go, Sophie, Annie, and Pamela. You're welcome to to just read the Tagalog. So, uh, which part, which uh, word document is it? Oh, uh, it's supposed. It's in that um, Did it say uh, guide. Yeah, ten B. It says ten B, or no, eleven. I should say it said eleven. Yeah. Do you have it? E2 guide key or just descriptives? No, yeah, uh, the guide key means that it has all the uh, examples. You could take, okay. you could use that too, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you wanna start a, a big and small, Sophie. Malaki, maliit. Yes, very good. And Annie, high and low. Mataas, mababa. 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 Yes, mababa. Okay. Pamela, deep and shallow. Malalim, mababaw. Very good, yes. Uh, Sophie, tight and loose. Masikip, maluwag. Yes. Annie, weak and strong. Mahina, malakas. Yes, mahina. Mahina. And, yes. And uh -oh. then... Okay, uh, Pamela, hot and cold. Malamig, mainit. Yes, and then finally, Sophie, far and near. Malayo, malapit. Very good, all right, good. So these are common, common uh, descriptors and we will now put them into our, uh, into our connectives, okay? And this is how we will go about it. So, when you have descriptive words connected with sa, with the na, uh, with its uh, consonant, it, it, it's actually the descriptors and then the object, right? And they're connected with na. But if it's in, if the uh, descriptor is uh, ends with a vowel, it becomes ng. If it is a consonant, then you have the na. Look at it. So the, the malayo is a descriptive of far, but because it ends with a, a, a vowel, it becomes malayong. And then malaki becomes malaking, all right? So here it's maliit na kwarto, mataas na bundok. So, here are descriptors of your place, right? So, sa malaking bahay. What did that say? Sa malaking bahay. 
Baha'i's house. The big house. In the big house. In the yes. big house. Yes. And then Samalayung Bukana. Bukana is an opening, uh, like an opening of the river or the opening of a, of a field, right? Bukana. So Malayong is the, the opening in the far end, is what it's saying. Samaliit na kwarto. What should that be? In the small room. In the small room. And then, sa mataas na bundok. Mataas. At a high mountain. By the high mountain. So, sa again, sa can be at, in, by, you know. And uh, it really has all that, uh, uh, you know, uh, what is this? The descriptive of place position okay so uh with that with the example from your your guide sheet can you think uh, can you come up with uh, uh your example with the connective of na so let's see i could probably show the the guide sheet here for now there it is so we have it here. There you go. There's your commonplace. And then there's your descriptive. Okay. That's, can you see it? Okay, there. Give me one example, Sophie. I can't remember the adjectives now. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just to, uh, just uh, for now, just do the the position and the places. Oh, okay. Um, the harap ng escuela. Good. All right, Annie. Uh, itaas ng dagat. Sa itaas ng dagat. Okay, good. <laughs> on top of the, on top of the, uh, the, the big water. Yes, yes. Pamela? Sa gilid ng ilog. Sa gilid ng ilog. Okay. Um, what Let's... would you, like, how would you choose between gilid and tabi? Yes, good question. Gilid and tabi. On the side of, are they both the same? Tabi and gilid are the same. Yes. Yes. Uh, sa tabi ng ilog, sa gilid ng ilog. Um, uh, on the side of, they're, all, they're both saying that they're on the side of. Right? Okay, so there gilid. is no like scenario where it's different. One is more, you know, proper than the other one to use for something. You know, tabi, all right, good question. Tabi mo is more used when you're uh, right beside it. If it's an object, uh, you, the, the dog is right beside the can, mm -hmm. right? But gilid is more like descript, describing some kind of a uh, like a, a growth or structure, you know, as opposed to an object, right? Sort of, yeah. So it's more is a gilid ng ng hardin, you know, on the side of the garden. You don't say sa tabi ng hardin because sa tabi ng hardin is like object. It's not an object. It's a it's sort of a, a structure. There you go. More of a structure, more of a place is more like gilid is more used. Would you the, say it's almost like a direction, like he's yes. doon sa gilid ng hardin. Yes, yes. And, and, uh, and, and if it's a person you're saying, katayo siya sa tabi ng hardin. Okay, a person would have to be tabi. Yes, a person or an object sa tabi. But if it's, you know, the uh, gilid ng hardin, if it's you're looking for direction, uh, uh, pumunta ka, pumunta ang, uh, or uh, ang, ang uh, tubig dumaan sa gilid ng hardin. 
you know. So it's it's more like uh, things that are on the side. Uh, I mean, uh, a, a event or something that's like a structure. Uh, I can't. <laughs> so, no, it's good. No, I'm yeah. really glad. I don't think you remember a long time ago the the poem I was translating. Yeah. So I just had so many choices between like to say, which is a totally different situation, but the side of yes. Something. So yes. in my head, I think side, I think Gilid. Yes. And but I also know I I hear it the bit. So I was trying right. to remember. Yes. Like, if you said in coche nasa tabi. Yes. Like in calle or something like right. that. But yes. if you're saying like go over, pumunta ka dun sa gilid na yes. calle. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I need to, I need to say yes. it out loud. I need to yes. figure it out. Yes. Yes, you guys, you're, you're, are you getting that too? Yes, take note. That's really, really important. I'm glad you brought it up. Yes, very good. So let's see. I have some. Uh, did I put there some of the the list of the the descriptors? No, I did not. Did I? Oh, let me. Uh, I thought I did. Oh, there are no descriptors in that list. Okay, let me just uh, quickly uh, get the descriptors here. Oh, I'll send you the descriptors, right? Uh, will that we won't we won't spend time with that? Let's move forward here. Let me just uh, get that. Let me share. Go back to our. Okay. Okay, so these are the descriptors again, uh, big and small, far and near, you know, high or low, okay? So again, descriptors connect to the object with the connector, the connector na, okay? Okay. Connecting rule number two. Descriptive words with position to sa connects with na, which is equivalent of the word of. To the word of, like, look at this. Yeah, the position, right? Harap, kaliwa, sa loob, right? Again, the connective of nang. Sa harap nang malaking bahay, right? In front of the big house, right? Sa kaliwa nang malayong gubat, to the left of the uh, forest that's far away, okay? And sa loob ng maliit na kwarto is inside a small room, right? So the position again, it is connected with the connective noun, okay? All right. And you, I'll give you uh, the list of the, uh, uh, what is this, the adjectives? There's a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of them. But, uh, uh, you'll, you'll be using these adjectives uh, more as we go into basic three. Okay, so sa, yeah, yeah. sa connected for description, okay? And again, you're just adding the descriptor and you should be able to already know the, the place, right? Look at this uh, format one. Lumangoy basila sa gilid ng malalim na ilog. Right? Sa gilid ng malalim na ilog ba sila lumangoy? Okay? And again, there is no uh, change in how we did it before. We're just adding the descriptive, right? We're just adding the adjective to the to the to the object uh, or place. Okay. Question. Question. Yeah. So, malalim is deep. Okay. Go is ahead. Good, is a good rule. Um... You just don't end on the pronoun because I'm trying yeah. to remember what you said before. So you yes. just really don't end on the sila or like. Yes, yes, it's it's always uh, uh, always a good uh, well. It's 
it's the rule it's the, the rule the grammatical rule to actually follow the action with the pronoun right so naglalaro kami sa gitna ng malaw but you uh, uh, yes, you do that end with a pronoun because when you put sa gitna ng malawak na kali, kami naglalaro. You don't say sa gitna ng malawak na kali naglalaro pa kami. No, it's it, you get the high the raised eyebrow there. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, sa gitna ng then that's why I'm emphasizing that if you change, you know, the place you know, the connected place and put it in front, you also change the, uh, and you, yes, you end up with, and in this case, you end up with the action because the pronoun goes ahead of the action, okay? So it's not about like, which is the subject, which is the object, like, cause it sounds like this, if it's a subject, it doesn't go at the end, like, or- Yes. Whoever is doing the action, is not yes. The end. Yes. Yes. Because later on, later on, as we go to uh, basic three, uh, this is uh, the basic. You know, uh, Sophie, you remember we conjugated the actions, right? Past, present, and future, right? The na, nag, and um verbs, right? So these are all just uh, what is it? Um, the basic conjugation of verbs. Later on. When we start putting the object of the action, then we're going to be conjugating the verbs in what we call the in verbs. And that would be more the active verbs, like kina in instead of kuma in, right? Right now there's the um verb, kuma in, tumakbo, right? Later on, we're going to uh, conjugate that into the in form of the verbs. In the, and it's going to go tinakbo, kinain, right? And then because it's a different form, an active form, there is going to be an object of that action, all right? Because uh, what did you, what did you eat? Or what did it eat, right? Kinain nang, and again, that whole connected, the nang is going to come in, but that's going to be on basic three. <laughs> You're going to go deeper into the gubat, okay? Where there's some more uh, foliage. Okay. So are you keeping up, Annie? <laughs> I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Annie also just came in and she's got getting all this uh, in, in one soup. Okay, well, uh, okay. So this is the descriptive. And all we did with the descriptive is put it there in front of the, of the uh, object, right? Sa gitna ng kalye. And you just put there, sa gitna ng malawak na kalye. You know, malawak means the wide street. Okay? Otherwise, it would just say in the middle of the street. You know, naglalaro kami sa gitna ng malawak na kalye. Okay? So, and then, let's see. Okay, next. Practice muna. Let's do some practice here. I totally yeah. forgot what was the narrow. Yeah. So if it's Malawak is wide, then what's yeah. the opposite? Makitid. Makitid. Okay. Yes, Makitid is, is narrow, right? Or uh, sometimes the Makitid is uh, uh, used uh, uh, similarly to Makitid is Masikip. Masikip, all right? Masikip or Makitid. In the, it can be in the same context. So you notice also, what do you notice about descriptive words? How are they spelled? There's a prefix, right? The prefix ma, right? Masikip, mataas, malaki, malubag. But the key, the, 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 what is this? The, the root word, is luwag, maluwag. The root word is sarap, masarap. The root word is lalim, malalim. And uh, right now, because they're descriptive, that's the uh, prefix that we're using, the ma, okay? And again, we'll also learn about descriptive verbs and different 
uh, prefixes and suffixes that will change the meaning of the descriptive root word. Okay. So right now, can you answer this question? Kumain na ba kayo sa tabing dagat? What is it asking? Tabing dagat means side of the beach or side of the wa of the ocean which is actually another word for beach right for beach uh so kumain na ba kayo sa tabing dagat what is it asking so did you eat at the beach did you, have you e have, did you eat at the beach kumain did you eat uh, na, oh, Already. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, the na is important because it says, kumain na ba kayo? Uh, otherwise, kumain ba kayo? Did you eat at the beach? But with the na, it says, did you eat at the beach already? Okay, so uh, how can you answer this? Ikaw, Sophie, kumain na ba kayo sa tabing dagat? Um, hindi pa kayo kumain sa tabing dagat. Okay. You, you're being asked. I'm asking you kayo, right? Oh, not and, kayo. Uh, ako. <laughs> right. kami. Yes, kami, because there's a group. You're asking us as a group, right? So you're yeah. answering as a group. So say it again. Um, hindi pa kami kumain sa tabing dagat. Yes, and you use the word pa because there is the question na, okay? And you can use the pa in with the hindi, right? Good, right. Let's see. Sa babaw, sa mababaw na ilog ka ba? Lumangoy kahapon? Again, it's a... Uh, Lumangoy is to swim, swim, right? How would you answer this? You wanna try? Uh, Annie or Pamela? Sa mababaw na ilog ka ba? Lumangoy kahapon? What does mababaw mean again? Mababaw means shallow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think at this point, all, uh, just remember how you answer with yes or no with the sequence. Mm -hmm. So, so um, you say o oh, o oh, or hindi. So when you say o oh, o, oh, what is the sequence? Is it um, you say so? Oh, oh. It would Go be ahead. oh oh plus the action mm -hmm. and then the pronoun and then oh, the yeah. place. Yes, yes. Okay. Go ahead. Mm, so action. Okay. Lumangoy kahapon ako. The action and then the pronoun. Oh, so long. Wait, what does kahapon mean? <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Okay, uh -huh. so it would be lumangoy ako uh, action. Lumangoy is action, yes. Yes, so pronoun and then would you say pakahapon? Or would you go samababa na ilog? Yes. Kahapon, yes. Okay. Yes, you're learning. Okay. You're learning. And so again, when you say o, -o mm -hmm. action, pronoun, and then you can put the time or place uh, at the end, right? Right. Okay. So o, -o lumangoy ako kahapon, okay. right? You look at that. Look at that. Lumangoy ako o, -o lumangoy ako kahapon. Mm -hmm. Sama babaw na ilo. Okay. Okay, but if mm -hmm. you start off with sama babaw na ilog, lumangoy ako kahapon. Right? Yeah. Okay. Would you mm -hmm. 
say uh, umangoy ako sa mababaw na, na ilo kahapon? Can you yes, it? yes, yes. And you can actually interchange the order. Yes. Because you have the place, the action, the pronoun, and the time. Okay, and you can interchange. Uh, how about the next question? Can you answer the next question? Nagpasyal pa siya sa bagong mall? Okay. So, now, bago, bagong mall is bago means new. You know, new mall. So, nagpasyal, you know that action already, right? Cruised around or uh, went around. So, what is this uh, asking? Um, have, uh, has that person, I'm just like they, he, she. Yeah, yes, um, yes gone around like visited the mall, mall the, new, the mall. new mall yes yes so how do you answer that um oh, oh nagpasyal siya uh sa bagong mall yes, yes. or i I'm, i left out the na like nagpasyal na sa bag mm, doesn't even sound right Nag, nagpasyal na just take out the ba yeah yeah it can still sound right okay nagpasyal na na, na siya that, that order works? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Nagpasyal na sa sa bagong mall. Yes, yes. So, so, uh, so if I put the, the bagong mall, sa bagong mall? Uh, sa bagong mall, um, nagpasyal na siya. No, nag no? Na, nagpasyal. <laughs> All right. It's the other way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sa bagong mall siya nagpasyal na. Right. Very good. Very good. Uh, good. So, uh, um, so are you getting used to this? Just, just so I wanted to get used to make you uh, aware of the time, the place, and the action, and the now. So, again, this one here, the last one. Sa, mal sa loob ng malaking eskwela, Kaba nagtrabaho kahapon. Right? Now it's the ka, you. Right? So, how would you answer this? What would be the pronoun? Hako, yes. So, uh, how would you answer this with Hindi? Hindi ako nagtrabaho kahapon sa loob ng malaking eskwela. Yes, right. Hindi ako nagtrabaho, right? Again, because it's hindi, pronoun action, okay? So these are the exercises that you are going to have in in the um, in your worksheet. And uh, we will continue. And then, of course, uh, I will add the... the uh, uh, complete the sentences here. Natutulog ang pusa. This is where I introduce now the, instead of pronouns, I'm introducing subjects, right? Here you're saying ang pusa, ang mga bata, instead of pronouns, right? Yes. And then for object, uh, it's we don't have it. You, we say yung, uh, we don't have it in, in Tagalog. And we just come up, put it in the sila, yung mga. Uh, we don't have the, the pronoun it, right? And then we will be describing some of these. Uh, this is where the descriptive, these are the questions, right? So this is the exercise that you're going to be doing. And so uh, by Thursday, or before the uh, tonight, when we, um, you know, head off, I'm going to send you the descriptive uh, list, okay? And then you can start practicing. Thank you. <laughs> Salamat ulit. And of course, uh, if there's any questions you, you need from me, just email me, okay? And I will see you Thursday. And of course, Carla, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes. We're excited. Hey, you, uh, Sophie and Annie, you, go, you guys are uh, welcome to join us tomorrow. We're reading uh, America's in the Heart, and you're welcome to just join in the conversation. Just being part of the conversation is really great. Okay. All right.
Salamat. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.